talk about influence. Um, so some of you, if you follow Jake Paul or know about his courses, uh, he has this um, online course and uh, it's called Edfluence. It's something that he put together and uh, so I was curious and I paid for it. Um, it's not terribly expensive, it's actually fairly inexpensive. But um, I do have to say there's a lot of good information. I know uh, some of you watching, maybe if you don't like him, maybe you don't like who he is, but you get to see a side of him that you don't see in his videos. So he's actually pretty business savvy. Um, you start to figure out how much time really goes in to doing Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter, YouTube. He also does Musical.ly. Um, it's it's pretty crazy uh, how much time it takes. And you know the one thing he talks about is you don't upload the same content everywhere. So if you watch any of his stuff, you'll see that his Instagram is different than his YouTube. Um, Twitter, I don't see a ton of stuff on there. Um, there's a lot of people that comment. Uh, some of it's negative, but you know, look, I mean, <laughs> when you're popular, everyone's gonna like you. But what I want to talk about is, it's actually a really good course. It can teach you a lot. Um, it's a little different for uh, some of my age. I'm 43, and it's a it's it's really geared towards a younger generation, and it's fine. But it actually made it kind of fun because uh, I actually started making some videos. I put them on my YouTube channel, and uh, and it's been kind of fun messing around with editing software. Um, he also mentions that what kind of equipment to use. Uh, editing software you can buy and some of it I think is free um, I'm using Filmora and uh, I use I think maybe he uses Adobe um, and that's pretty good it's kind of expensive for me starting out I wanted something easy something I've never edited videos before so it was something I really wanted to try didn't want to invest a ton of money into it just in case you know I don't like it but it's kind of fun just filming stuff talking about things uh, I did a video the, on, uh, on Friday about uh, bullying something that was going on with my son at school so if you're a younger person I would strongly suggest checking out Edfluence um, I think if you're looking to get into the social media industry I, I think you can learn a lot from that and he gives you times to post and believe it or not especially on Instagram when I've posted at the times that he suggests, I get more likes and more views on my Instagram post than when I post any other time. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, I tried it just to see if, you know, what he was saying was true. And I have to say it is. YouTube is a little different for me just because I don't know if I'm posting the kind of content people really want to watch. Um, I, I think YouTube is probably a younger, generation of people that watch videos and I'm not sure what they're looking to see probably crazy stuff super funny stuff and um, you know I work I work eight hours a day I'm a father too my son's in sports I'm married so you know I probably I get a couple hours a day to do a video and then find time at night to try and edit it so I don't have a ton of time but for someone who's young, single, um, doesn't have any children, um, major responsibilities, you have a really good opportunity to make some really good content. And uh, it feels weird at first when you walk around with either your cell phone or a camera and you're, and you're filming. So I don't know what it's like in some other states, but here in Arizona, like I never see anybody vlogging. I never see anybody in the store walking around with a camera or their cell phone filming and so people kind of look at you kind of weird but after a while you kind of learn to ignore it and um, you don't really feel uncomfortable I think at first you feel kind of strange but that's probably to be expected and I think most vloggers will probably tell you that that they felt a little uncomfortable um, when they first started doing that 
So I just wanted to, you know, throw that out there. Um, he's got a really good course. I really strongly suggest taking it. And I think you could learn a lot from it. I learned a lot. I took a lot of notes and just been having fun with it. You know, my, my Twitter's been growing. It's not like blowing up, but I mean, I had eight when I first started. I think I meant like, uh, like 150 or something. And it's just from, from putting, you know, tweets out there. Um, he gives you good uh, apps to download that can help uh, grow your social media. And, uh, you know, I think his philosophy of telling you as much as you put into it is what you're going to get. And I believe that. And that's probably, you know, to anything in life. But, uh, so, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, enjoy the course. I strongly suggest taking it. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely worth it. I think you'll learn a lot. Learn about programs and uh, devices to use. So, uh, right now I'm using a GoPro uh, Hero 5 that I have attached to my window as I'm driving. I use my cell phone otherwise to record. But you can get cameras. It just depends how much money you want to put into it and, and how much time you want to spend. But uh, I, I would like to see Jake make something in Edfluence maybe for, I don't know about that older generation, but someone that is probably more busy, maybe a family time. Like his dad vlogs. So his dad and his mom would be really good people to put on the Edfluence course for maybe somebody like me who's older, has different responsibilities, uh, you know, a house of their own to take care of, stuff like that, and could, uh, I, I think I think it would bring an older generation into it rather than someone who's just younger. Because right now when you watch the course, it's a, it, to do it all is a lot of time. And it's really hard to find that much time in a day with my son being in sports. Uh, I'm taking him. It's really tough to try to put that much time into it. But anyway, that's the vlog, people. Uh, hope you check it out. Um, I think you'll see a side of Jake that you've never seen before. And he's very business savvy. And you'll understand why uh, Forbes magazine wanted to interview him. All right, so I'm going to give that, and uh, you guys take care, and enjoy the rest of your evening.